just give you a moment sort of to look at sort of this is just the, the data set, or the, the set, well, not the data set, this is the set of indicators that we're using, reflecting on the one hand sort of aspects of access, availability, and utilization, and food and nutrients. On the other hand, showing sort of the multi sectoral nature of hunger and nutrition. So we look at indicators which are focusing on agriculture, uh, others on sort of on aspects of, of women's empowerment um, and equal rights. Um, to be economically productive, equal rights to, to access critical uh, assets needed to sustain uh, people's incomes um, and allowing people to be free from hunger. And looking also at very specific sets of indicators which, which focus on nutrition. Now, I, the color scheme here, a uh, little disclaimer, there's a few errors here with the color, but the, so glance over the errors, but Think about it this way. So we're looking at sort of indicators, some of them which are specifically focusing on hunger. So producing enough sort of food sort of is typically sort of promoted just to, to address hunger, but it doesn't, it's not necessarily sort of considering sort of its possible impacts on sort of nutrition. Other sort of interventions like providing supplementation vitamin of, of vitamin A is very specifically focused on, on enhancing sort of the nutritional status of children. So we have some indicators which are very specific nutrition focused, others much more hunger focused. And a third is sort of in between, so they're hanging sort of addressing both. And again, sort of we have indicators here which are very much about sort of putting particular policies in place. Others which are much more about sort of trying to sort of ensure people's right to food, um, rights to social security putting legal frameworks in place that can protect um, sort of children, 